Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HG Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and this is the next part in my Granny Square series of tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to make the half Granny Square or the Granny Square Triangle. Now these have lots of uses and I actually have used them in one of my designs. This is called Invested and it is a vest made of, or a tank top, made of granny squares. And I used the half or granny square triangles to create the neckline. Now to make a granny square triangle, you are going to need a hook. I'm using a 3.5 mil. You're going to need some scissors and you're going to need a darning needle to take care of these ends. You're also going to need some yarn. I like to change my colours at the end of each round so I've got three different colours. To start, take your first colour, make a slip knot and chain three. One, two, three. In the back loop of the first chain, which I held onto to keep slightly larger, I'm going to slip stitch again to create a loop. Chain three, and this is your first stitch. If you are using UK terminology, then that's your first treble. If you're using US terminology, that is your first double. You then want to place three trebles or doubles into your center loop, which means you've got four in total. Chain two and then place four trebles or doubles into your centre loop. Now this completely breaks the rule of three that always takes place in the granny square, but you need to place four because we're not going around and around, we're turning back on ourselves. So your centre will, first round will look like this. Four trebles, four trebles with a chain two. This becomes your corner in effect the top of the pyramid of the triangle. I'm going to slip my yarn here just to keep that out of the way. And I'm going to select my second colour. Slip stitch to join. And then I'm going to turn the work and I'm going to chain three. Then in the first, in between the first and second treble below, you want to place three trebles. Which then looks like this. So that extra treble that we put in becomes the foundation for the triangle, which creates this straight line across the bottom here. Next, you're going to place a corner as you would do on a regular granny square, which is three trebles or three doubles separated by two chains, and then three more trebles or three more doubles. Having done that, you then want to place four trebles in between the last and second but last treble or double. And your second round should look like this. I'm going to snip my yarn and I'm going to attach my third colour. By all means you can continue to use the same colour. Slip stitch to join and then I'm going to turn the work, chain three once again and then between the first and second treble I'm going to place three treble or three double.
which means with the three chain to start, we have a total of four, like so. Place three treble or three double in the next gap, which brings you to the top of the triangle. So you want to create a corner, which is three trebles or three doubles separated by two chains, and then three trebles or three doubles once again, all in the same space. Then place three trebles or three doubles before you get to the last part in the last, in between the last and the second but last treble or double you need to place four trebles or four doubles And then I place a slip stitch in between the last treble or double to secure the yarn as it's my final round. Pull the yarn through and there you have it. You have a three round granny square triangle or half square and you can continue with as many rounds as you like. You can also make another one and slip stitch into these sections so that you have half of a square that's in one colorway and half of a square in another. So have fun playing around with all the different effects and make sure you check out the rest of my granny square tutorial series because there's lots of great stuff there for you to learn. Okay then tribe, take care, happy making, see you soon.